Hey guys, welcome to episode one. In this episode, I would like to talk about how the computer works because essentially we have computers in our daily lives every day. We have computers in our desktops, in our homes, even in our pockets. And it's super important that we understand how this computer works. So therefore we can understand much better technology. So as humans, we have been always searching for tools that makes our, our life better, right? For example, the wheel, the hammer, I don't know, the, the printers and so on. All of these inventions were helping on the manual work. But suddenly when the time started to pass, people started to think on ways of also helping on the thinking work. So like solving equations or, or solving more complex problems. So rather than moving physical objects, I don't know, as stones or creating fire and so on, these machines will have been built to manipulate information. As the pioneers of computer science and computer engineers starting to realize on how to design and build this machine, they realized that these machines needed to take input. After taking the input, storage this information. Third step, to process it, to finally give an output. So input, storage, processing, and output. That's how a computer started to work. So these four pillars are common in all the computers worldwide and that's what makes a computer a computer having these four stages remember so let's talk about the first part the input the input is really nice because it's everything that you are saying or the world is saying to this computer to do so i don't know if you have a, a wrist a apple watch or a watch with you and this watch is uh, measuring your heart rate that's an input so the next step is the storage and processing of this information. So all of these inputs are giving information to this computer that needs to be stored in the memory. After all of this information is stored in the memory, it goes through the processor. That the processor actually is using algorithms to change or manipulate this information to give an actual output later. All of these algorithms are just a series of commands that are helping this processor manipulate this information. And the last part is about the output. So how a computer outputs the information depends on what this computer has been designed to do. So it depends, maybe a, a game, maybe a VR, maybe an AR. And the idea is that uh, when this information, this output goes online, it becomes also the input of another computer. So this is how, how everything works. It's super interesting to see how technology is advancing from early days until today and maybe who knows in the future with quantum engineering, machine learning and artificial intelligence and so on. But the whole point of this is that all the computers, given the, the, the situation that they are, will always be doing these four steps. So input, store, process and output. I hope this works. Bye guys.